They, in Sweden they arrest you a lot? Yeah, it's, it's uh, not as common today as it yeah. was uh, some years ago, but it was very common years ago. And, and, and this was nothing compared to the methods that are used in Sweden. It, 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 for what situations? For a situation where naturalistic, uh, naturalistic. People, yes, uh, gathered and had a meeting or concerts or anything, they could come in and arrest uh, all the crowds, all the audience, uh, all participants. What reason did they use? What reason they like? <laughs> you know, it, we had no power, no influence, no no measures to do anything. They they what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That's simple as that. This is nothing. I think the best thing is that people should just act natural and uh, you know we have, we have because we haven't committed any crimes, so people just have to relax because this is this is no problem. You know. What's your Hasta la vista. I, I've got to say, I don't understand the question. If the government is so sure we're wrong... Why not let you speak? Why not let us speak? What's the threat you pose? Well, what threat are you? The idea is we're intellectuals, right? Okay. We're, we're ultimately a group of intellectuals, uh -huh. and people who have intellectual curiosity. Now, what we've come here to do is discuss the idea of democratic society, because democratic society is based on one man, one vote. Right. Now, when you cast that, when you introduce the idea of biopolitics, mm -hmm. that people are fundamentally different, and it's an innate thing. People have inherent differences. When you introduce that, it, 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 it casts a shadow. It calls into question the idea of one man, one vote, from which their authority is derived. And so because of that, they feel that their authority is threatened. And so, because of that, we are being specifically targeted here for disruption. <laughs> but do you believe it's because there's upcoming elections and the Jobbik party of Hungary is gaining power and the pre President Orban is worried about having the right splinter? Well, I'm not sure, mate, to be honest, but we all know that, that so-called far-right parties, which are just civic nationalists, they're fundamentally in agreement with the establishment that we should live in a democratic society. Mm. So I don't know enough about Jobbik's comment on that. Mm. All I know is that I've come here with someone with an intellectual curiosity. I published my own articles, I published my own thoughts. I wanted to listen to what Richard Spencer and his associated speakers had to say. And because of that, I've been threatened with arrest on it's sort of nonsense of being able to produce identification, which I was not in, not informed about as I entered the country, and it's it's a show of force. It's a moral intimidation, not based on any sort of uh, ideas of uh, you know a so-called violent threat. Because you can see everyone here, you know, they're smartly dressed. They're not they're not sort of violent individuals. What they are is people with an intellectual curiosity who want to see speakers express themselves and articulate new and interesting ideas. And that is, the authorities are determined to stop that because they feel that any new ideas are undermining their legitimacy of the democratic system. Now, what we want to do is basically just, a, is just have a look at it. Just, just analyze what it means to live in a democratic society. Sure. Now, I've come here again, like I said, because I believe in free speech. I believe in the exercise uh, that people should have, you know, a basic right to talk about their ideas. And we've been threatened by the Hungarian authorities through that. Mm -hmm.